there are no leaked Panzer Lake V series, meaning there isn't a true Lunar Lake successor. But Intel has told us for long that Lunar Lake is a one-time spin. It's not going to have a successor. And if you're after the most power-efficient CPUs and the most compact and power-efficient laptops, based on my personal experience, this is the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite Surface Laptop 7. Even to Lunar Lake, this is still more power-efficient and running really cool and really fast. Second point, there's no leak so far to replace the HX CPUs of the second-generation Intel Core Ultra. So for the very best gaming laptops. There's no leak so far, at least, for the Panzer Lake CPUs. Hey, my YouTube friends, CS2026 is around the corner and Intel is ready to announce its 2026 laptop CPU lineup, the Intel Core Ultra 300 series Panzer Lake CPUs. Let's be clear, NVIDIA is too busy with its data centers and its AI chips business. There are not gonna be new mobile GPUs coming out from NVIDIA in 2026, or likely new desktop GPUs. Maybe there's gonna be a few 5,000 super GPUs from NVIDIA, but you already have a pretty good and clear picture of the mobile GPU performance look like based on current RTX 5000 series. And also AMD is unlikely to have a, like a full update on the line, mobile lineup. So Intel is definitely the more exciting one to look at, at least in the CES 2026 timeframe. So Panzer Lake is Intel's Core Ultra Series 3 CPUs, and it focuses on better performance per watt, stronger iGPU, the XE3. And also it's a optimized for a much stronger NPU for AI performance. It is a unified successor for both Lunar Lake and Air Lake U, Air Lake H series over time. Let's see some real numbers and the leaks so far. So the first one, Intel Core Ultra X9 Series 88H, that's the flagship Panzer Lake CPU from Intel. And it's one of the most complete leaks so far. In Geekbench 6 uh, score, the single core performance is over 3000 and it has a multi-core score of uh, 17,687 points. And this is 15 to 21% faster than the outgoing Core Ultra 9 to 85H in multi-core rankings. And if the leaks are true, it even blows the AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 uh, CPU in single core performance and multi-core performance, despite it has a lower TDP, like 45 watts versus 55 watts. But of course, the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395H still has a much better iGPU performance. And the second leaked CPU, the Core Ultra X7 358H, the mid to high range Panzer Lake skill. What's impressive, it has a 3D Mark Time Spy score of about 6,800. And they get the score at 65 watts, which is 72% higher than the Core Ultra 7 255H iGPU score. However, this CPU score, at least at Cinebench R26, remains almost the same or slightly lower than the current Core Ultra 7 255H. And this shows that Panzer Lake's iGPU uplift is enormous, even if CPU side isn't dramatically higher or even sometimes slower. Suggests that Panzer Lake may shift power budget towards a better graphics and AI, not just the raw CPU performance. And the third leaked CPU, the Panzer Lake CPU Core Ultra 7 366H. Notice this one doesn't have the X7, the X prefix in front of the CPU. It still has an okay GPU performance in a Geekbench Vulkan GPU compute. It has about 26,000 scores versus GTX 1050 Ti's 22,000 score. That's 26% higher than AMD's Redon 840M in the same task but this is not really the performer here. And the last leak, the Core Ultra 5 388H, the entry-level Panzer Lake CPU. The early leaks showed the XE3 B370 iGPU performing reasonably well, but sometimes slightly behind the previous giant uh, iGPUs in raw pixel tests, indicating that not all Panzer Lake's iGPUs are created equal. Some performance really good, some are like just entry-level and budget-friendly CPU positioned. Now we have an overview of the CPU comparisons from the latest flagship Core Ultra X9 388H versus the last generation's flagship, the Core Ultra 9 285H, and its rival, the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395. Again, if all the leaks are true, the X9 388H is really, the CPU performance is really great. It has an even higher single core performance versus the Ryzen AI Max Plus. 
uh, and a comparable multi-core performance. Remember that the Ryzen AI Max Plus 385 have 16-bit cores, the Zen 5-bit cores, and this multi-core performance is no joke on the um, on the CPU. And in the iGPU test, we can see the Core Ultra X7 has pretty respectable GPU iGPU performance lift over the Core Ultra 7 255H. So far, all the Panzer Lake CPU leaks are all on the H. There's no HX replacement leaked so far yet. And the second question, there are no leaked Panzer Lake V series, meaning there isn't a true Lunar Lake successor. But Intel has told us for long that Lunar Lake is a one-time spin. It's not going to have a successor, and they're not going to design another generation of dedicated CPUs optimized for the the best power efficiency, but have a lot of limitations. Like it has very limited core CPU cores, and it has a limited uh, memory configuration. It has the on-chip memory modules. You can configure no more than 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is a big limitation to many of the users who want larger memory size. But hopefully with the Intel 18A process getting better and better, they can produce CPUs that has the same power efficiency as Intel Lunar Lakes, but also have the flexibility to have larger and better memory and has better extensibility on the core counts. So a few points for 2026 Intel mobile CPUs and the laptop market in 2026 overall. If you're after the most power efficient CPUs and the most compact and power efficient laptops, there's no direct successor to Lunar Lake. And I feel like based on my personal experience, this is the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite Surface Laptop 7. This is currently my best, my favorite on the go Windows laptop. Even to Lunar Lake, this is still more power efficient and running really cool and really fast. I have already said that there's something right about Windows on ARM operating system. The snappiness on the Qualcomm Snapdragon X uh, Windows system is just on a different level, regardless if you're running running on the plug-in power or on, running on the battery. For me, I have access to Cloud DevBox. If I need something to develop, I just uh, use the remote desktop or remote Visual Studio Code to connect to the, the Cloud DevBox. The second point, there's no leak so far to replace the HX CPUs of the second generation Intel Core Ultra. So for the very best gaming laptops, there's no leak so far at least for the Panzer Lake CPUs. And that's something we can watch for to see if Intel is gonna, gonna announce anything in the CES 2026, uh, talking about the highest the TDP designed CPUs. And the third thing, Intel finally has something, the Intel Core Ultra X9 uh, 388H that can finally compete with the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 uh, CPU in terms of CPU performance, both single core and uh, multi-core. If the leak scores are true, it's even a better CPU performer than the Ryzen AI Max Plus. However, the, the power of the Ryzen AI Max Plus is not just because it's CPUs, it's because it's iGPU and unified memory. On that front, Intel's Panzer Lake is still cannot beat this one. But still, in 2026, there's not going to be a whole lineup upgrade from AMD. And it's unlikely NVIDIA is going to bring out something very exciting to mobile gaming laptops, uh, except for possibly the super series of its RTX 5000 mobile GPUs and desktop GPUs. Intel's full lineup upgrade is welcome. And we're definitely going to hear more about Intel's Panzer Lake CPUs announcements in the CES 2026. And it's just around the corner. It's less than one month and we'll have to see what more Intel has to offer. Anyway, before CES 2026, I hope this video gives you a pretty good overview on the up upcoming Intel CPUs. And it helps you to decide if you're gonna upgrade your current setup. Either you're looking for a super thin and light power efficient laptop, or you're looking for the possibly highest performance gaming laptop. This video gives you an idea on if and where you should upgrade. All right, that's everything I want to share today. If you like the content, please like this video and consider to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.